Godwin was listening to NPR yesterday. They kept saying that the uh, saying of the Boston bombing trial that the incident was the deadliest U.S. terrorist attack since 9/11, which is you know wrong. The Sikh temple shooting killed more people, seven versus five, which isn't a big deal, except that it's worth reminding everyone in 2015 that NPR is Islamophobic and that independent media is important. Happy New Year, Majority Report. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it's weird what we perceive as a terrorist attack and not. I mean, I guess you could say that the Sikh temple shooting was a hate crime, whereas the... A uh, terrorist attack that the uh, the bombing in Boston was just sort of a a more p- a political attack. I guess I don't know. I yeah, think it's th- very important, not only with the Sikh temple attack, but the 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 Klan guy who murdered um, the the people at the synagogue in Kansas last year. I think it's very important to start calling these things terrorism as well, because first of all, they certainly are. And there is a political implication in only identifying, you know, certain events as terrorists and others. I think we could say any type of politically motivated mass killing right. should probably be deemed terrorism. You know, uh, I think it was uh, maybe it was uh, Media Matters. I'm not sure. But someone has an article up looking at how much time Fox News spent on that story from October where a employee at like an Oklahoma business uh, beheaded his coworker. And he was Islam. He had an Islamic background, and they spent so much time on Fox News talking about it and how it was terrorism. And he beheaded because of Islamic faith. And then they found the story from just a few months later, or not, not even just like a month later, where a religious, uh, a Christian guy, like a hardcore Christian guy, got into a fight with his roommate because his roommate was not Christian and wouldn't believe in Christianity. And he grabbed a knife and beheaded him, and Fox News never touched it, never mm-hmm. covered it. 